one of the big things that we worked on was coming together as a team. Jake talked about you are really stepping up to be the leader of the receivers and kind of, I guess, the elder statesman. Talk a little bit about that, about your leadership. I mean, I, I've never been like one of the type of guys to just yell at somebody and tell them what to do. I try to lead by example. But Jake been pushing me to tell the guys that I got to do this and I do so. Uh, I mean, that's something different for me, and that's also something that we need as a receiver for. People have said earlier in the summer, though, that South Carolina's got the best overall group of receivers, one of the best groups in the country. How do you feel about that? I mean, I feel pretty good. I mean, we, we lead by example. Okay, offensively this year, though, you know, you've got a year under your belt playing with Jake and like that. How good can this offense be? We'll be, we'll be very well, very, very good, but we're not big on predictions. Season opener up in Charlotte. NC State's going to have probably a really good defense. Do you think that's going to be a good test for y'all right out the gates? Yes, sir. Overall, how are you feeling about the season? I feel like we're, we're going to have a pretty good season this year. What did you think when uh, Jake said uh, this offseason that he thought you and you guys in Clemson were really not that far apart, that you were essentially about as talented as Clemson was? Did you did you take that as like a you know something that you were glad to hear him say? Did you take that as like, ah, maybe you should kind of hold back on that? I ain't even paying no attention. No? No. Do you like having a quarterback, though, that'll you know chirp a little bit like that? I mean, you know, you kind of came up under when Spurrier was here and he was chirping all the time. Is that kind of a, you want your quarterback to sort of be that outgoing guy like that? I mean, whatever he wants to be. Yes. Have you seen him sort of come into his own a little bit more personality-wise? He said last year, you know, maybe when the game would kind of, you guys would get behind or something like that, he might be a little more quiet in the huddle than he should have been. Have you seen him maybe since the end of the season through bowl practices or, or spring kind of come into his own personality-wise more where he's more confident out I there? I think when Jake step, steps on the field, he has comes in. He also believes in us as a receiver and also yeah. in us as a whole team. Yeah. Coach Bus Jam talked about a little earlier about keeping you healthy, and that's one of the more important things this year. What have the coaches maybe talked to you about, about maybe any kind of different regimen? And do you worry at all, Debo, about injuries at all each season? Uh, I mean, we do three times. We uh, do treatment on me three times a week now. I mean, we started yoga this summer, and we, start, we started yoga in May, and they also tell me to stay hydrated because so I won't have any nagging injuries. I'm up. Is yoga something you knew much about at all? Is this kind of your first it's experience just, with it? Just, What's that been like? It's like my first experience. I didn't know yoga was that stressful could be so hard and intense. Mm -hmm. And has it been a good thing? Do you think? Do you feel like it's, it's helped you? Uh, it's a, you know, it, as far as everything. It helped me get a little more flexible than I was. Do you feel any 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 burden this year? Are there any expectations any burden? Because people are talking a lot more about you, Jake, Hayden, Brian, all having a year under your belts working together now. Is there any burden of the of the heightened expectations? Nah. Mm -hmm. Is it? Does it? You know, make you guys more confident and motivate you that people are talking about you guys offensively a lot. I mean, we just go out there and do what we do. What we do.